Robotics was once the realm of science fiction. In recent years, however, robots have become a common fixture in operating rooms. We spoke with Dr. Kareem Tursarkissian of Redlands Community Hospital to find out what procedures are being performed with the use of robotics. Well, the Da Vinci is, uh, of course, in my opinion, an advanced laparoscopy uh, tool uh, that has uh, come about a few years ago and has recently become very popular. And uh, I use it for gynecologic surgery. The advantage of it is that, first of all, you can have better access for laparoscopy because you free up your hands. The second thing, it is minimally invasive. Uh, so what you're doing is major, very major surgery with uh, little holes uh, in the abdomen. Therefore, the level of pain that the patient has postoperatively is minimal. Uh, I have had some patients going home without taking any pain medication. With the robot, uh, there's a focal point that is a black line on the trocar that you put into the patient. The trocar is the port of access. And it rotates along that one point, so there's no shear uh, forces, no tears into the skin or the muscle. And this is where the pain comes from. Most of the surgical pain not, does, not, does not come from the pelvis. It comes from the abdomen. So you eliminate that. It is three-dimensional, um, so you have stereoscopic vision. Uh, it's digitally layered. Uh, and my thing, when I'm at the console, I'm doing laparoscopy, yet I feel submersed into the patient. It's almost like I'm sitting right inside the patient's abdomen and operating. It's a very strange uh, feeling that you get. And what is stranger in the beginning, of course, because you don't have tactile function, uh, after a few cases, you start getting a sensation of touching the tissue, which is very bizarre. And uh, one of my partners had uh, went and researched that. Apparently, it is something that you develop with time with that procedure because, you know, you don't have tactile function, you know, feeling. And it, it's very bizarre. It's very, um, well, let me put it this way. Somebody gave me a $2 million Xbox and told me play with it. That's the rush that you get. We can do more advanced surgeries, uh, such as uh, destroying nerves, suspending the bladder. Uh, if a woman has cancer, we can uh, uh, sample the lymph nodes in the pelvis to see if there's been any spread of the disease. Uh, and uh, the urologists, of course, use it for prostatectomies, and uh, that uh, has been very successful. The key for this procedure is to bring people up and running as soon as possible. 90% of our patients here have gone home the same day, two hours after the surgery. So pretty much they come in, they have their surgery at 7.30, we start, by two o'clock they're home. Uh, the second thing is, they're back to work in a week.